Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It is Dooney Addict 615, and I am back with another Sephora haul. This place is a trap for me, and that that's that's my confession. That's the only confession I'm going to make for this video is that I know that going in store is a trap for me, but I'm really glad that I did because I got to try some new stuff, pick up some new stuff, and then I think I have a couple of restocks of items that I have been using more frequently. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining Skin Care Saturday for those of us that have crossed the threshold of 40 plus. I hope that you will stick around, check out some of the products, hear my thoughts on them, and maybe stick around and watch a few more videos. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing and turning on the bell alert so that you do not miss any of my future skincare Saturday junkie videos. If you are a returning subscriber who supports this series, thank you so very much for always coming back to see what I've hauled and what I think about it. And on that note, let's dive right into the bag. So the first thing is a new item and I don't know how I missed the launch of this item on Sephora.com, but I found it in store. And it is the Sol de Janeiro Bondi G Bright Clarifying AHA BHA Body Wash. So if you have uneven texture, if you have body acne, if you have uh, some discoloration, this body wash with the AHA, BHA is formulated to help with all of that stuff. Texture, hyperpigmentation, blemishes, yada, yada, yada. Um, it is um, the fragrance similar to the body butter. It's got a seal but you can still smell um, the body wash. So I am anxious to see how it smells once lathered and mixed with water. So this is the first item. It is again a clarifying AHA, BHA body wash. Shower gel for those of you that are looking for me to keep it simple. The next item is a Another um, item, this is from that you from a brand you've seen on my channel. Let me get my words together. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross AHA BHA Daily Cleansing Gel. So alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. And this is my go-to travel face wash. It is TSA compliant at a whopping two fluid ounces or 60 milliliters. So even if I am not checking my bag, this does not give TSA grief when I am going through the security checkpoint. This uh, face wash has been named and renamed. They have changed the packaging, but it is still basically the alpha beta peel, but they have renamed it. AHA BHA to indicate the ingredients that are in it and it is a daily cleansing gel and I have used it daily. It is in my travel bag now and the reason that I picked up another one is because that one will soon be in my empties. The next item is another new product from Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. And this one is their body scrub. And I really, really love the body scrub from the original. And I thought that I would give this one a try. So it is, let's see. Oh, I love the smell. So you can see it's got a little bit of texture in it. And you can see a little bit of oil there on the top because it will not only exfoliate but it will also add a layer of moisturizer onto the skin to help hydrate and soothe from all of the friction 
with the um, granules in the scrub. So two from the same line Sol de Janeiro. The next item is a restock of the Inky List PHA toner. I don't know how many times you've seen this on my channel, but if you have not taken the plunge into the PHA toner world, I would strongly encourage you to do so. This is a gentle, very gentle daily peel. It is like an exfoliator, a toner, a peel. It is great for sensitive skin. It is great for all over, including the lips. Trust me, put it on a cotton pad, wipe it over your lips, and then follow up with a good lip conditioner like a Laneige or good old-fashioned Vaseline. Something that is super emollient and that you don't have to constantly reapply. You will notice a difference. This is also really good for sensitive skin if you have hyperpigmentation because again, it's gonna gradually, like Miss Pac-Man, eat away all of that dead skin on the top. That's gonna, you know, eventually con exfoliate all of that off, so that the healthy skin underneath can finally rise to the top with less blemishes and hyperpigmentation. I am a huge fan of the PHA toner from the Inky List. I keep one at home. I keep one in my travel bag. And I keep a couple in backup because they are just that good. Give it a try if you have not. It, um, let me get this one, it's sealed. You've probably seen this one on my channel before if you watched the video. But let me just show you what the packaging looks like here. And again, just apply it on a cotton round or a Shiseido cotton pad. Then that is what it looks like. You can use it both a.m. and p.m. on a cotton pad. Um, wipe it all over your face, your neck. I also use it on elbows, knees, places that um, need just a little bit of exfoliation. And then you follow with your serums, your moisturizer. So this is early, an early skin step. And then you do not rinse this off. So you leave it on and let it work and do its magic. So that is the Inky List PHA Toner. And that is Polyhydroxy Accent. Okay? Alright, so the next item from the bag is another item from the inky list um, and that is the polyglumatic glumatic acid it is also um, perfect for under makeup but it is considered a serum so it is a treatment step um, the PGA acid is perfect for helping the skin retain moisture. So hyaluronic acid holds less, let me, how do I wanna say this? The PGA molecules actually hold four times the moisture as a hyaluronic acid molecule. So if you are struggling going into the fall and winter dry season and your moisture barrier or you have really dry skin and you're trying to hold on to that moisture I would recommend switching from hyaluronic acid in this time of year to the PGA or layering both of them to supercharge the water um, and moisture molecules so again PGA good for um, holding water to keep the skin moisturized and it holds four times more water than hyaluronic acid. So I'm super excited to see what this is going to do, especially once the heat comes on and the humidifier comes out at night. So I'll keep you posted and let you know if I love that one. The next item is another from the Inky List, and it is the Caffeine 
eye cream. I'm not sure if I'm going to really like this one or not because I don't, um, I don't feel like my eyes look tired and like I have bags underneath them. You may disagree. Let me know in the comments. Um, but the caffeine eye cream actually helps with like, um, restricting the vessels underneath your eyes so that they don't get as puffy. It helps to kind of depuff. So I don't know if I'm going to really like this one or not, but it says that it's for tired eyes and there are some mornings where I don't have the puffiness, but I just don't feel like I'm well rested. So I'm going to give the caffeine eye cream a try in my travel bag and see if I like it. Um, I'll keep one of the others that I use in there as well, just in case this is a no-go for travel. I have something else to um, fall back on. But it is in a little squeezy tube. You only need a small amount of eye cream. And you want to apply it with your ring finger, just a small amount. Split it between the two fingers and then gently apply it underneath the eye. So that is what the caffeine eye cream looks like from the inky list. And this can be used again, both AM and PM. It should be applied on clean skin and you want to gently pat it around the contour of the eye and then follow with a moisturizer. So um, eye cream first, Moisturizer second, this is formulated to better penetrate the thin skin around the eye, whereas your facial moisturizer is a little heavier, a little thicker, larger molecules, not going to get down into the recesses that the eye cream will. All right, the next item, um, that let's switch and talk about some Sephora branded items. I don't usually buy a lot from Sephora um, private label, but I have been doing a little bit of research, reading some reviews, and there are some items in that line that I think may be just as good as their brand name counterparts based on the reviews, right? And if they are, then it may be a place to save some money and to support the private label of Sephora and all of the other things that come with that. So the first one is actually a 1% Bakucho oil and Bakucho oil is great for targeting wrinkles. And y'all know, if you've been with me for a while, there is not a wrinkle, not a crease, not a crevice that I will not wage war against. Um, so, um, I decided that I would give the Bakucha oil from the Sephora label a try to see how it does, if I like it, if it has a smell, all of those good things. It is a 1% formulation. It is in a dark glass bottle. I'm already liking that because dark bottles help keep oils from oxidizing and that is exactly what happens when they are exposed to sunlight, which reduces the amount of time and effectiveness that they are um, good for the skin. Now, this is good for 12 months after opening. Um, so I will let you know in a future empties if it was worth it. The next item that I picked up is a 6% BHA PHA targeted pore serum. I picked this up because I want to see how it compares to the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Serum. I love that serum, but it is, I think, $68 a bottle for a one fluid ounce. And this was a fraction of that price. So I want to see if it is on par with the Dr. Dennis Gross formula. And if so, um, Sephora may have just won my business as a repeat customer purchasing this item. Again, it is a 6% 
AHA, BHA, you remember what I talked about with AHA, BHAs for the body? Well, this is going to help do that for the face by helping to blur and smooth and peel and do all of those amazing things. This is a one fluid ounce. It is good for both day and night. I would recommend that whenever you are using a acid or a retinol like the AHA or the PHA, or the PGA that you are diligent in applying your sunscreen. All right, the last um, Sephora branded item is a brow pencil. I needed one for my travel bag. So I picked up this one from Sephora Private Label and it is in the color Chocolate Brown. And while I have not tried Chocolate Brown from Sephora, I do have other uh, brow products, brow pencils that are in the Chocolate Brown color that work perfectly. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a winner and that I can repurchase this one as well because there's some cost savings there. And I lied, I have one more thing from Sephora brand. And it is the Sephora Vitamin C Skin Care Kit. There is a vitamin C plus E serum. It has a vitamin C plus E ultra glow mask. And there is also a vitamin C plus E ultra glow toner. So this is a little small try before you buy kit. I think it ended up being around, I don't know, $19 or so. And there are pretty good size bottles in here, enough that I should be able to try the products, see if I like them before splurging on the larger size. So this first item is the Ultra Glow Toner. This is like the perfect size um, toner for my travel bag so I may once I finish this even if this is if, even if I don't purchase a full size of this I may get it cleaned out and it may work as a uh, travel item in my travel bag the uh, next is the uh, vitamin C mask so it is a little bit of a deluxe sample size it'd be great for travel to see um, you know if I like it and as I go into the cooler months I'm doing less in the evenings after work so I can self care a little bit more and then the last item is the C plus E um, serum and again I am looking for brightening I'm looking for hydration I am looking for um, products that are going to keep fine lines and wrinkles at bay. So I will let you know how the C plus E compares to some of the other vitamin C oil products that I have tried. The next item I could have and should have waited until there was a sale, but I was really curious about it. It was from one of the brands that you've seen often here on my channel and that is fresh and this is the tea elixir and the tea elixir is supposed to help with skins your skin's resilience um and when the seasons change oftentimes the issues that you have with your skin that people have with their skin is that transition and the skin trying to find its new happy place and rebound um, from changes in environmentals and temperature. So I thought that this one might be great for the fall and winter. I am already a fan of Fresh and their serums and their face washes and masks and you name it, their eye creams, the list just keeps on going. So this one is a new product and I am curious about the APT adaptive technology and what it's going to do um, through the, um, you know, through the cold weather 
especially paired up with hyaluronic acid and PGA and some great moisturizers and toners, kind of lock all of that moisture in. And then the last item that I picked up is one from the brand Moroccan Oil, and it is their Intense Nourishment Body Butter. All I will say is this was a splurge because it's way too expensive for it to be a regular, normal purchase. But I tried it on my hands and walked around the store for a while and I made my way back. Because even after applying um, swatches on my hand and then the makeup cleaner wipes, you know, off, my hand still felt very, very moisturized and hydrated it didn't feel like i had you know extracted all of the good nutrients from my skin so i decided i was going to bring it home and try it on my body because the seasons are changing so i will let you know um how i like this it has argan oil it also has hyaluronic acid so moisture exfoliating um scrubbing so I've got some body care products and then new products to try for, uh, to incorporate into my skincare routine, new eye cream, and then of course, a couple of repurchases of tried and true products out of my routine. <laughs> so let me know if you have tried any of these products. Do you have an opinion, good, bad, indifferent, any that you would like to try after hearing my spiel? I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Thank you so very much for watching, and until next time, take care.